It's sickening. That I can say for certain. Like the killer wanted to provoke a reaction. Shock anyone who saw the body. Yes, exactly. Using the murder to make some kind of senseless statement. The sick bastard. Who would want to kill an art critic? Maybe an angry artist whose work she trashed. It's a possibility. We should comb through her articles for clues. I'll check the bookshelf. Search the room. Maybe we'll find a lead. Vanessa's critiques. Vanessa was a clever critic, though a few of her reviews were... What? I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... they were a bit sadistic. Let me see. Wow. She was ruthless. Every artist she panned is a suspect. We can't interview them all. It'll take months. Maybe we can narrow down the suspects with more clues. Let's examine Vanessa's desk. Blame degenerate art for the Nazis' rise to power. I pray this upcoming exhibition will bury Dadaism in an absurdist grave. Absolutely scathing. Quite a bit of potential evidence here. Great! I found Vanessa's draft article. University of Zurich, Faculty of the Arts. Conclusion of the Disciplinary Committee. This looks promising. In conclusion, you are hereby expelled from the university. Is this why her critiques are so scathing? Was Vanessa a failed artist herself? Great! I found an expulsion letter. Anna, look at this. A broken cup. There's another on the table. Either Vanessa had company not long before the murder, or she knew the killer. If she did know them, that would narrow down the list of suspects. As a journalist and art critic, she knew dozens of people, so even that list would be quite long. What about you? Found anything? More than I expected. Have a look at this expulsion letter from the University of Zurich. Vanessa was expelled from art school. That explains it. A failed artist tearing into other artists. It appears so. Before she died, Vanessa was writing this article. Let me see it. Dada Exhibition. Are you familiar with Dada? I've never heard of it. Barely. But I know an expert. I'll do some digging. Terrific. Oh, I completely forgot about Sven. I should tell him about Vanessa. May I use this phone? Of course. Forensics have already dusted it for prints. No dial tone. Strange. I'll let Uli investigate the line. It's likely just a short. I can fix it. Where's the junction box? No idea. Must be somewhere outside the building. Closed. I'll need a tool to open it. 
Sorry to bother you, Uli. Do you know where I can find a screwdriver? Maybe this will help? Great. I found a Swiss army knife. Thank you. This is exactly what I need. This was no short. These wires were cut on purpose. I need some adhesive tape to reconnect the wires. I bet Vanessa had a role in her apartment. Did you fix the phone? The wires were cut. I need some tape to fix them. Cut? You're sure? Yes. It looks awfully suspicious to me. I'd tell your forensics team to collect fingerprints on the junction box too. Will do. some adhesive tape. This should do the trick. Let's hope it works. Hello, Sven. It's Anna. I have terrible news about Vanessa. I know. What a tragedy. She was a gifted critic. Wait a minute. How come you already know she was dead? The uh, constable dropped by and told me everything. Anna, why is it taking you so long to return to the office? Your deadline is approaching and no article has appeared on my desk. That's only because you sent me here. Oh, I'll be back as soon as possible. My editor already knew about the murder. Oscar must have told him. I sent him to the paper when we found the body. Oh, yes, I remember now. I met him as I was leaving the office. I'm examining the backyard next. Want to join me? Yes, of course. Are you looking for anything in particular? Just following the killer's movements. The front door was locked from the inside. So the killer went through the window and into the backyard? Took the words out of my mouth. Let's examine the backyard.
great. I found a knife. I believe I found the murder weapon. A bloody knife. Give it to me. That goes to forensics. Hand me the knife. Carefully. You're right. It's the murder weapon. Look at the blood stains. But why toss it away so close to the crime scene? Why not hold on to it? Or throw it in a river? The killer couldn't think straight, uh, overwhelmed with emotion. He noticed the knife in his hand and panicked. But the killer's creepy message and the way he arranged the scene suggests the murder was premeditated. Speaking of strange messages, I found a very odd note on my windshield. It looks like some sort of poem. I thought it was a joke at first, but now I'm wondering if it's connected to the murder. Have a look. A poem on your windshield? Show me it. Gibberish. What's the connection? The writing style is similar to the killer's. Don't you see? This is an unusual killer. He wants to make a sick statement of some kind. This poem I received could be part of his message. Message to whom? The police? The public? I'm not certain yet. I'm a journalist. Maybe the killer wants me to write about him. Let's not jump to conclusions. It's likely an isolated incident. A crime of passion committed by an angry artist. I hope you're right. Well, it's getting late, and I have a deadline looming. It was an honor to meet you. Thanks for your help. You did great here. Time to get back to the office. There she is. Let me guess, Anna. You took the scenic route? Layout is anxiously awaiting your article. Is that all you have to say? Finish the article? This is a daily newspaper. Our readers are waiting in eager anticipation for the morning news. No excuses. Write your article. We'll discuss Vanessa later, I promise. Give me half an hour. When you're finished, bring it to my office. Okay, time to focus and write my article. Done. The draft is ready to go. Now, where are those photos I took? Hmm, which one should I go with? Ben will love it, and I still manage to hit the deadline. <coughs> oh, why don't you open a window? I find the aroma of a fine cigar invigorating. Have you got an article for me? Yes, Sven, it's finished. I'll be the judge of that. Hand it over. The article on velvets, Anna. Hand it over. Hmm. What have we got here? The lead is sharp. Your third paragraph's too long. So is the fifth. Well, it's not abysmal. I certainly fit the print. I'm not sure I can handle all that flattery. So, Sven, 
I had a thought about Vanessa. No need to continue. I already know where this is headed. I do not want you investigating her case. There's too much work this month. I got you an exclusive interview with that politician, you know, running for mayor for the sixth time. Gustafsson? Yes, Gustafsson. And there's a chess tournament coming up, major construction projects. I realize we have a lot to cover, but give those stories to Matt, or hire more reporters. I mean, what kind of newspaper are we? One of our colleagues was murdered. We can't ignore this. It's our responsibility as journalists to uncover the truth. Hmm. Well, as much as I'm wary of making ourselves the story, I do want justice for Vanessa. Very well. I'll let you investigate this case as a special assignment. Thank you, Sven. I won't let you down. By the way, Vanessa's invitation to that cabaret? Russo. Yes, Russo. Consider it yours now. See what you can uncover. Do you know what part of town Russo's in? I do. Hold on. I'll give you driving directions. There you go. Great. I found Sven's instructions. From this moment forth, you're on your own with this assignment. I understand. See you tomorrow, Sven. Enjoy your evening at Russo. I still expect you here bright and early. Enjoy your evening at Russo. So, where do the directions say to go? What is this absurd route? He didn't even give me the actual street address. I'll have to waste time puzzling this out. Russo must be in Old Town. I would have rather he just told me the directions. The investigation begins.